Today's video is about the most important rules of guinea pig hair. These tips will help you provide the best care possible for your furry friends. They need company. Guinea pigs are herd animals and need a companion. A human cannot replace a second guinea pig. Even if you're there for your guinea pig 24-7, it still doesn't replace a partner guinea pig. The easiest combination is a neutered boar and one or several sows. Other combinations are possible too, but this is probably the beginner friendly one. Having two or more is also way more fun for you as the guinea pigs are going to interact with each other and once they've gotten used to their surroundings are going to do all kinds of crazy stuff, which is going to be awesome for you to watch. Space. Guinea pigs might be small, but they need lots of space to run around, to explore or to avoid a fight with another guinea pig. While guinea pigs are herd animals, they do like to relax without touching a cage mate. Even if you provide lots of floor time, your guinea pigs need a big cage so that they can run around or popcorn whenever they feel like it. Most pet store cages are way too small. A good size estimate is 0.5 square meter per pig. There are many different types of cages and lots of them look awesome and really make your living room stand out. It took us three DIY cages before we found one that made the guinea pigs and us happy and that fit into our apartment. A large cage also motivates your guinea pigs to be active, which will make for some awesome piggy TV. Diet. A guinea pig's diet isn't that complicated once you've gotten the hang of it, but it does take some time to do research and to settle into a routine. Guinea pigs need hay 24-7, so you always need to refill it. They also eat lots of it, so you will have to store the hay somewhere. Hay makes up the biggest part of your guinea pig's diet. Second largest part are vegetables. Even more so if you don't feed pellets, but guinea pigs should have at least 10% of their body weight in veggies. Since I don't feed pellets, I feed around 15 to 20%. If you keep your guinea pigs outdoors, grass will be a large part of their diet as well. Pellets only make up a small part. So if you feed pellets, make sure not to overfeed them. Forage and herbs are also part of the diet and if your guinea pigs like, fruit once a week. Bathing. Unless advised by a vet, guinea pigs do not need a bath. I know there are tons of videos on YouTube where people think it's super cute to bathe their guinea pigs but it's not pleasant for them and it can be bad for their health because their skin dries out. There are certain illnesses where they might need a bath but your vet will tell you that. Health. Guinea pigs are prey animals and masters at hiding their illnesses. This might be an advantage in nature but it's not that much of an advantage if you live with humans. So an illness can be really tricky to spot. If you do a weekly health check where you take notes of your guinea pig's weight and overall appearance, you're more likely to spot a sickness early on. The faster you get your guinea pig to a vet, the better the chance of recovery. Warning signs are rapid weight loss, runny nose, wet and dirty fur for no apparent reason, not moving when there's food, bald patches, except for directly behind the ears, this is completely normal, Teeth are of different lengths, tumors, frequent sneezing. These are only a few symptoms. In general, as soon as you notice that your guinea pig's behavior is off for no apparent reason, you might consider going to the vets. Patience. Some guinea pigs are curious and adventurous and others are very shy and like to hide. It takes patience to earn your guinea pig's trust and sometimes it might feel like you're getting nowhere. This is completely normal. It took Frida one and a half years to trust us. Every guinea pig is different. It takes a lot of patience to tame your guinea pigs so that they trust you. And even a really tame guinea pig will flee from you at some point because there was a loud noise or it got spooked somehow. They're prey animals and nothing is going to change this. This doesn't mean that they don't like you, it just means that they have to run away whenever they hear something odd. Also something that will help with taming is that guinea pigs strive in a routine. So the more routine you provide for your guinea pigs, the safer they will feel in their surroundings. These were a few tips for guinea pig care. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time!